Today, I want to show you an exclusive and safe routine to deal with stiff neck, both for prevention and for cure. Welcome, I'm Olivier Girard, ergonomist, posture therapist, author of the Posture Manual. I call it 36 exercises, but actually it's 36 combinations of one same exercise, which you can also call a six minutes routine, but which you can do bit by bit. So no stress, that does not need to take you a lot of time. It's an exclusive routine because you won't find it anywhere else. I've developed it by myself, tested it as always, first on me, then on patients. And then after having observed how effective it is, well, I decided to publish it for you guys. The routine is safe if you stick to the instructions. In other words, what I'm gonna show you is how to mobilize your neck, not strengthen it, and how to use small muscles and not big muscles. So stick to the instructions and everything will be fine. What's the difference between mobilization and strengthening? Well, when you strengthen, you try to reach a certain amount of muscle activation so that you get this well strengthening effect. Here, we're just gonna try to activate the muscle so we should see the fiber contracting very slightly or feel when we palpate that it contracts slightly, but the amount of contraction is is a few percent of what you would use in strengthening. So we're just trying to activate the muscle a bit like I have instructed uh, in the video on the EMS um, electro uh, stimulation uh, thing. But usually you don't want to play with electricity in the neck because it's full of sensitive tissues. So having a biomechanical way to activate the muscles is very useful. Now, what are you gonna do? You're gonna put your hand on your head and just press with your fingers. So basically the movement is this, okay? And when you press with your fingers, you should make sure that your head is still. This is why you don't see anything when I do the, 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 the exercise, you see? And as there's a very slight pressure from your fingers arising from the hand flexes here, finger flexes here, but the head is still, well, there's a, a count action and counter action from the neck muscles. And this is why if you put your hand on the muscles, you will feel that they contract, relax. Just one thing, why is it super important that you rest your palm on your head? Well, because this is gonna disconnect the arm and shoulder muscles. And it's gonna force you to, to work only with the hand muscles, which are super small, more or less, uh, say, comparable to the neck muscles, okay? So this is the reason why you should really put your hand on your face to create this disconnection. Where are we gonna put the hand? Well, the hand is gonna be placed here above the eyebrow or here at the back of the head or here on both sides. So there are six locations for putting your hand. When you're here, you will work on the anterior neck muscles, which are sternocleidomastoid and scalene. When you're here, you're gonna activate upper trapezius and levator scapulae. And when you're here, you're more gonna work on the posterior neck muscles, which of course include the upper trapezius also, but you will also work on the um, cervical spine muscle, the multifidi, and the splenius uh, family. So six, positions for your hand and one movement which is this the frequency of the movement is two hertz i.e two times per second so it goes like tick, 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 tick. okay like this no movement from your head and now these six hands positions you're going to combine them with six head position one position is going to be neutral one position will be lateral flexion to one side, lateral flexion to the other side, rotation to one side, rotation to the other side, and flexion, okay? We are not gonna go in extension because when you have extension, you contract the muscles and you put pressure on the cartilage of the vertebra. So this is not something that we want. So we have six spots to put your hand and six head positions. How many times do we do this? Well, 20 times, 
twice per second. So the result is that for each head position and hand location, we stay for 10 seconds. Okay, then you're free to choose if you want to go through the six head positions, i.e. Uh, clack, 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 and then move your hand. Or if you want to move your hand in one head position and then put another head position, that's totally up to you. Doesn't make a difference. So you see, we have six positions for your hand, six positions for your head, and every time we will contract relax for 10 seconds. So in total, we will contract relax for 10 seconds times 36 combinations. That means 360 seconds. That means six minutes. How frequently should you do this? Start with two to three times a day and see what it does. But again, you know, you press only the amount that you need to feel something under the other hand or to see something moving in the mirror. It's got to be super, super minimum contraction. One last thing, when you do this, it's important that your head is in a minimum state of contraction, i.e. that you sit properly. Sitting properly is the topic of many videos on my channel, but basically it's about resting your lumbar support and keeping your torso slightly forward. I don't want you to do the, your, the exercise like this because in this position you see there's already neck strain and to this you're adding something. So we don't want that. You first sit super well, then put your hand. If you want some help, you can even use the, the armrest provided that it goes high enough or you complete with your other hand or a cushion or whatever you want. So everything is possible provided that you sit well. And please send me your feedback in uh, the comments and this way we will all learn together at the same time. If you like this stuff, well, have a look at my book, The Posture Manual. If you need personal coaching, consider the online posture program and one way or the other, feel free to put a comment and I'll be happy to answer to any request.